Hey everyone, Keith here at Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I want to demonstrate the use of the product display box um, for the PayPal Simple Shopping Cart plugin. Now, by default, we might normally just put the Add to Cart button. So we might use that short code. As you can see, I'm in text view here for this particular page. And there's the WP hyphen, I mean, sorry, WP underscore cart underscore button. That's the short code we might normally put just to generate an actual button. Um, however, if we want to put a, an attractive display box, um, we may we can use a different uh, short code, which is called WP underscore cart underscore display underscore product. So that's what we would put there instead. And it takes all the same parameters as WP cart button, but a few extras. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in entirely, and we can see the difference. I'll paste that in just below here. And as you can see, it still has name, just like that one, name and price. And if it is a digital product, um, we could we could put in the file URL. But what what this shortcode takes instead, um, the additional parameters are thumbnail. So you can actually put a, an image that shows up in there um, within the product display box and a short description. Now to get the image URL, um, you can go to the media library for that. You can open the media library in a new window. Look for the photo that you want to show up in there. Click on it, and then you get the URL. But remember, that's the URL for the full size image that gets displayed. So if you wanted to um, display a thumbnail image instead, what I what I tend to do when I'm setting up products, um, I temporarily add the media, and I only add the actual thumbnail size that I want to display in there. And I find that anything with a width of 300 looks really good in the product display box. So what you would do with that is click on add media, click on the image, choose 300 by 200 or whatever the medium size image is there. As long as the width is 300, it'll look really, really good. And click insert into page. And when you're in text view, you can actually see the source URL. So what we would do is grab that out of there and then delete the code that, that WordPress generated and that would be what we would use for the thumbnail in there rather than the full size image all right now i'm going to go ahead and click on update on this and see how this changed the page so really all i did was add the new product display box short code there so I'll click on update And there it is there, it shows up just underneath. Um, obviously, we'd want to clean this up a little bit. We, The image is now redundant, so we would remove that. We would remove this Add to Cart button. But this is what the product display box looks like. It's a nice box. The thumbnail um, shows up at the top. And again, 300 width looks really good. And there's a title, short description. The price shows up there, and then the Add to Cart button will show up there. And it works just the same as this Add to Cart button. However, more information is present um, based on what we put into the short code. All right. And now just like just like um, the WP cart button short code, we can put in other parameters in there. So if we had if we wanted to do variations, uh, variation control, we could put this parameter in there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there and show you what it looks like. And if if this was not a digital product and there was and there was shipping, we can uh, put the shipping parameter in there as well. And in some screen readers, um, some machines, images are turned off. And if that's the case, we want to put in a alt tag for the thumbnail. And also that shows up. Um, that can help with SEO as well. All right, and again, file URL, file underscore URL can go in there as well if it's uh, if it's a digital product. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and update. I'm going to get rid of this add to cart button, and I'll get rid of the thumbnail image as well. All right, I'm going to click on update, so it's cleaned up and. There has variation control in there as well. And if we 
click on add to cart I have the cart showing up here in the sidebar we can see that this shipping cost was also uh, also shows up there all right that's it um, for the product display box for the uh, PayPal simple shopping cart plugin again this is Keith tips and tricks HQ thanks for watching